Hello guys, so much on this side. Back again with new tutorial video. In this video, we are going to learn navigation in Flutter. In this video, we will go through the different type of navigation in case of Flutter so that we can navigate from one screen to the other screen and play with that. So, let's start the video. So, in the last video of the series, we understand about the local storage management where we use the package shared preferences for instantly store and get the local storage data. In case you don't see the video, the link is coming in that i link. So, please see the video that will be helpful to you. So, we are continuing from that part that we ended in the last video. So, in the, uh, in the last video, we made about that. So, now in this video, we are going to check the navigation for uh, navigating from one screen to the other screen. So, as of now, in that Flutter project, uh, we have only one screen. So, we have to make another screen so that we can play with the navigation. So, what I have to do before making a screen, there is a lot of configure. There is a configuration file present in that last video we see about the local storage man management. So, we can do one thing under that library folder, I make a fo new folder name config and under that config I just uh, push that uh, local storage management dot dot file and I make another folder under the library name as screens so in the screen all the screen will be present there in fact when we make a project we make a different folder structure so each folder represent a particular thing so that's how we can structure the code so as of now I push that main screen dot dot under the screen folder and under the screen so what we can do uh, the close that file and under the screen folder make a new file name as uh, second screen dot dot here what I can do uh, we can make a we can input our favorite package material dot dot and what we have to do we can make a stateless widget here name as second screen and here what we have to do here we have to write scaffold and under the scaffold we can write background color of colors having white and having the body of content of container uh, uh, that will take, uh, take the screen with the screen height so I can do one more thing instead of writing it manually again and again I can take the uh, take from here main screen dot dot and I can simply paste here that I love the most <laughs> and what we have to do here I write here uh, so I can copy the text widget from here as well so I just copy that and I come back to the second screen and here I just paste it so yeah okay so here I change that to the second screen and I have to make it constant okay so that the second screen is already built so but the thing is that that screen you are now showing is the main screen so how can we navigate to that second screen because in the second screen in the, in the center according to the code the second screen will, uh, text will be so there but as it's not showing so it is showing the main screen so for navigating through uh, in the second screen how can we do that uh, we can make one more thing here after the, in that column we make in the last video we make another uh, 50 uh, of height base and here I make a elevated button okay here you know when we click on that elevated button that on press method will be uh, responsible for that and after that I in the text I make here navigate and here I give a decent style so having the font size of 25 or 28 and font weight of bold so if I make a hot reload here you can see that navigate button is appearing here now what we have to do when we click on that button that should be redirect to the second screen so how can we do that for uh, navigation in flutter we primarily use navigator uh, that navigator dot of context so here we have to use context so when you see about the pop-up or about some screen with screen height or in case of navigation so here you can see context is playing a very crucial role by the way so we have to write navigation dot of context and then we have to write dot push and now here we have to write material page route and in that material page route uh, that will be having a parameter 
builder so on that builder will be return a build context we don't need that context as of now so what we have to write if the variable is not in uh, use we, we write underscore as you know that so after that what we have to write here uh, just give the semicolon here at the end this is mandatory for empty of the line and here what we have to write we have to write that wizard name that is second string okay so make sure when you under that build uh, so here you have to write a paste second screen but we have to uh, give that function site as well because we are calling its constructor so just like uh, as you know in the uh, main dot dot in that home we uh, also call main screen with that function calling uh, in that way so that we can calling call that uh, main screen class constructor so in the same way when we write here we have to write builder uh, with that underscore and the screen we want to navigate with its constructor so that uh, the function uh, sign is presenting here okay but here the error is coming because we not imported the second screen so here i import the library and the error is gone and as that class constructor is constant so we have to write here constant okay because if you come here you can see that class constructor where the parameter we can define that is constant so here we have to write the constant so in the same way in the main screen when we call that we can see that here our main screen constructor where that parameter will be getting that will be constant so in that main dot dot what we have to do we have to write here const so that will be constant okay sorry my bad i make a lot of typo as you know let's come to the main screen and here okay so we write the second screen here and is that uh, text widget will be uh, as uh, act like a constant so i write here constant okay so the error is gone so when we click on that button that will be redirect to that second screen that is we made here so what i have to do before clicking on that i make a hot reload so that changes will be getting updated and after that hot reload when i click on that button as you can see it is navigating to the next screen so how can we get back from the second screen to that main screen you have to click on that back press and you can come the main screen but how can we do it programmatically just like i go from here to here but how can i back without clicking on the ui part so, uh, through that how can we do that uh, back functionality programmatically very easy so in the second screen let's first go to the second screen and here we can do one more thing under the scaffold we can write app bar and here in the app bar we write here not giving the title is not necessary so i write here uh, leading and here i make a icon button so in flutter that are different type of button where uh, you can deal with the icon just like in the many of the apps you can see when i click when we click a icon the screen redirection or other operation is having so for that you can use that icon button because it is by default uh, accept a icon as a child okay so as you know in the on press method when we click on that icon what happened that will be decided by the uh, on press method but uh, what icon should be there we can define the icon in that way and here i can give a, a icon for getting back to the previous screen so i give here that icon icon back arrow back ios there is many more variant of io uh, arrow back uh, so you can try it out okay so i use that arrow back ios new and i want to give a particular color of colors dot black that i think maybe the by default color and after that we have to specify the color of uh, not the color but also the size okay so how can we define the size so what we have to do uh, after that code reformat we have to give the size here i think icon size and i give an icon size as 30 and as this is constant i make it with the const keyword now having a hot reload okay now it is showing uh, black it is not looking good and the app bar is also elevated so i write here elevation uh, under that app, app bar not the icon button so elevation i write here zero and i give here color of that icon is white so that it will be looking good and not having the size of icon size 30 but 25 that will be looking decent there now if i make a hot reload here here you can see that the icon is changed and if i click on here nothing is happening so what we have to do to get back to the previous screen that is main screen in our case uh, programmatically so we have to write uh, navigator dot pop context okay 
so when we write that and we make a hot reload and if we click on here that will be redirected to the main screen so through clicking on the navigate you can go to the second screen and when you click on that back arrow in the app bar of second screen you come back to the main screen okay so in that way you can navigate through the screen so there is many more uh, navigation is present in case of flutter so just like when you, uh, i give you an example uh, of it just like when we want to navigate from that screen to the second screen but uh, you don't have to back to that main screen or in other words we can say when we navigate to the second screen we want that the main screen will be removed from the step just like what happening is right now when we click on that navigate button you can see the second screen but when we click on the back button it is coming on the main screen so that what is happening when we go to the second screen the old screen will be stored in a step so that we can get back to the previous screen if that screen is not present in the step we can't get back to the previous screen so that screen is getting in the step so what we want when we click on that navigate button that will be redirected to the or navigate to the second screen but the thing is that that main screen will not be appear in the step okay so the, just like when we click on that navigate that will be redirected to the second screen but when we click on the back the app will be terminated because we don't want to uh, put that main screen in the step so that uh, we can experience that removal of the screen in the navigation okay so that's the main thing so how can we do that so here you can come in the main screen dot dot and here you have to change a small thing instead of navigator dot of context push you can use another method uh, push replacement so what we want to do we want to replace the screen with the second screen okay so that when we want to get back here there will be no uh, screen in the step that will be getting uh, reversed so the uh, app will be terminated at there as there will be no screen in the step okay so what we have to run i we have to write uh, push replacement here okay so and that's all if we have a hot reload here we have to click on the navigate to navigate on the second screen and when we click on here just remind our thing that will be not redirected to the main screen because when we write here push replacement it replaces the main screen and then navigate to the second screen now that main screen is not in widget tree trap okay so that as that main screen is not in the widget trap there will be no screen left in that widget container so let's see if it is working or not when we click on that as you can see we see the black screen okay because the main screen is not in the step so how can uh, we get back to the main screen uh, as that is not in the step we have to uh, make a hot restart so that app will be starting from the scratch without terminating the app okay that's coming to the <coughs> main screen now instead of push replacement i play, uh, replace it with the push because i want to show a more method in the navigation so let's uh, imagine a situation there is a bunch of screen present and just like when we click on here uh, just a minute i make a hot reload when we click on here it come to the second screen just like i make if uh, here if make a button the uh, and when we click on that it will be redirected to the third screen so uh, there is many more screen can be come but i want after the fifth screen or after a certain point of time when we click on the navigate the previous stored screen uh, step will be get removed just like i want to give you a example for the better understanding what i have to do under the screen i just make a new file name as third screen dot dot okay here i what i want to do i want to uh, copy all the code from the second screen and i paste here in the third screen okay we have to uh, change both that uh, screen name under that third screen dot dot so here and also here okay now here instead of second screen we write third screen okay now we in that way we can make uh, fourth screen dot dot and in that same way as our code in the uh, clipboard i just paste here and here we have to write four screens and here i write here instead of the second screen as we in the four screen dot file so we have to write here four screen okay 
but how can we navigate from the second screen to the third screen so we have to do the same kind of stuff so what i can do i just copy here okay and i come on the second screen here i wrapped it with a column and make a parameter in the column main axis alignment dot center that should be so at the center of the screen and here we make a constant size box and having the height of 20 so that it will be give a better pace and then we paste that okay so here we can uh, write also the navigate that's totally fine but here that will be third screen okay now what we have to do just we have to uh, copy along with that container child and in the third screen as well what we have to do we have to just copy it and paste the code we copied there and here instead of the third screen we have to write here uh, fourth screen okay now here we also change it to the third screen because it, we are in the third screen dot dot file and in the fourth screen it is not required because from the fourth screen we are not uh, navigating anywhere so what i done here let's see from that uh, navigation step uh, from the root of the project so in the home we call the main screen when in that home or main screen we click on that navigate button we forward to the second screen in the second screen when we click uh, on the navigate button that will be redirect to the third screen and when that uh, in the third screen when we click on the navigate button it will be go to the fourth screen but we want to make that the previous all of the screen main screen second screen and third screen will be getting removed in a single go from the widget step how can we do that for that we have to use in uh, in the third screen dot dot we have to use instead of the push we have to use push and remove until so what that method will basically do that method will be help us to remove all of the uh, widget screen step that is stored previously and navigate to the next screen that we are pointing but here is a catch when you use that push and remove until <coughs> after that material page route what you have to do give a comma and you have to write here route false what is the work of route false i will tell you later so be patient here okay so if i make a put reformat and if i make hot reload so if i come back here and just a minute i make a hot restart here so that everything is should be from the scratch as you can see the screen uh, is uh, the app is hot restarted and we are in the main screen now so when we click on the navigate we go to the second screen and we can come back to the main screen as well when in the second screen we click on the navigate we go to the third screen and when we click on the back button we come back to the second screen as well now if we if when we click on navigate in the third screen that should be redirect to the fourth screen but that main screen second screen and third screen that is present in the widget screen uh, step that will be removed from that widget screen step uh, so when we uh, click on the back button from the fourth screen that three screen will be not visible just like that will be not come back to the third screen that will be directly show the black screen because no screen is present in that uh, which is screen step okay so let's click on third screen navigate button so when i click on here it redirect to the fourth screen but when i click on that arrow button as you know that will show the black screen because that the black screen that because there is no screen uh, present in that uh, which is step okay so that's why it is showing the black screen so let's uh, try it again so i if i make a hot restart as this is the main screen when we click from navigate it is going to the second screen when we click to the second screen navigate we go to the third screen even from the third screen we can click back and come to the second screen so let's go to the third screen and when we go to the fourth screen all of the previous screen main screen second screen and third screen that is present in that widget widget screen step is getting removed and there is no screen is present in that widget screen step except fourth screen so when we click on the back button of the fourth screen that 
as there is no widget stack is present currently it is showing the black screen so in that way we can uh, manage the navigation in flutter so let's talk about that route falls but we will not understand why you we have to write a uh, route falls by default here because if you come here and here uh, okay let's uh, understand in the uh, second screen so that there will be no disruption so here if we write here only push you can see we see about uh, push push and remove until and push replacement but you can see here push named push named and remove until push replace named pop and push name we will understand that uh, in the future when we learn about the routing in the flutter app as you know in the website we do many more routing just like slash id slash name and more on the stuff so in the flutter app we can also do the routing in many of the different screen so that we can navigate in the different screen through the route as well in the, that we will not understand in this video because that's enough for today for the navigation and it's basically used in everywhere okay so if you know that three kind of navigation i told you in this video uh, this is totally fine and you can work in any of the app with that three kind of uh, navigation type and that's totally fine okay so that's all for today uh, hope you love this video. If you love this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. The next video of the tutorial is coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. Have a nice day. Bye.